beautiful friends and today I'm back again with another get ready with me and it's a chit chat get ready with me and today I use the dark lips it's a black dahlia OCC lip tar I've been wanting to try this on for the longest time and I never got a chance um, but today I thought you know what let's go all out there and uh, try the color and see how it looks it was a bit messy uh, applying it I'm not gonna lie even with the lip liner and stuff but it didn't um it turned out okay mm, not sure yes um so hopefully it didn't get on my teeth and yeah and uh sorry i've been mia for the longest time my son has been sick and um i haven't been recording much and it was just too much stuff to do around the house and um with everything going on and I will be um, putting uploading videos every week um, on a regular basis so today this is the getting ready look and uh, hope you all enjoy and uh, I will speak to you guys soon So I'm going to start off by priming my face and I'm using Face's um, primer. I'm going to take a tad bit, just this much, and just place it on my forehead. Once the primer is done, I'm going to apply the foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and mixing it with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I'm going to take a little bit. Both of them have the glowing particles, so what it will do is add a little dewiness to the skin. Okay, now I'll just use a damp beauty blender. Once the foundation settles in, I'm going to do the eyes. So let's start by filling in the eyebrows with a brow powder. Okay. So once that's done, what I'm going to do is prime the eyes and I'm going to use the face's Metal Legal Glow. Okay, then what I'll do is I am going to use this Estee Lauder palette. It's the Smoky Plums Deluxe Eye and Cheek Palette to create an eye look.
let's move on to the eyeliner. I'm just going to use the Kat Von D pencil liner. Now what you need to do is apply the falsies and I'm going to pause it because it does take me some time to apply them. So I will be right back once I'm done applying them. But before we do that, I'm going to curl the eyelashes. Apply a little bit of mascara and I'm just using my Chanel one. Okay, so while the eyelashes are drying a bit, I'm just going to put concealer onto my eyes and I'm going to use the Femi concealer that I have been using for a while and I'm actually loving it. It's very creamy. What I'm going to do is, before I set it up with powder, I'm going to use the Age Rebind to add a little bit of brightener. I'm going to set everything up with Mac Studio Fix Plus. What I'm going to do is contour. Well, I'm not really contouring, but I'm just going to bronze my face. And I'll use this. Um, this is Tarte Hotel Hyris. We're just gonna put blusher on. And I'm using Max Warm Soul. It's mineralized blush. I'm just gonna use an angled blush brush. We're just gonna use some highlighter. And I'm using the NYX Illuminator, and this is Ritualistic. It's a perfect dupe for NARS Albatross. I'm just going to take a tad bit and put it on my cupid's bow. This is just going to give me a full lip effect. And I'm going to set everything up with uh, NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. I usually set my makeup with uh, Urban Decay, but today we're not going to. Now what I'm going to do is um, actually put some shadow underneath the uh, the lower lash line. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the same palette that I used and I'm just going to take this um, number 105 Sony Kashuk brush and I'm going to use the blue to And I'm going to use the same blending brush. So now let's do the lips. I'm going to line the lips with Boutique Wine. I'm going to use the OCC Lip Tar in Black Dahlia. 
been wanting to use this for a while. That's how we went a little easy on the, and I'm using their brush, the lip brush. Okay, so this is the final look and um, let me just do my hair.